Hello and welcome to another episode of the SITREP. By and large, the most frustrating process in the Department of Veterans Affairs is submitting a claim for VA disability. What do you claim? How do you prove it? Is this an initial claim, supplemental, secondary? And the list of confusion goes on and on. Well, today I'm going to give you a couple of pointers that will help you out and pay special attention to the third tip because it can make all the difference in the world. But before I dive into the details, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe, which helps the sit rep in its mission of connecting veterans with the benefits they have earned and deserve. So let's get into it with tip number one, which is have a diagnosis for the condition or illness you want to claim and have good supporting medical evidence. You may be watching this and thinking, well, duh, but you would be surprised how many people submit claims for conditions they have absolutely no medical evidence for. If you find yourself in a situation like this, submit in an intent to file, which saves your place in line, so to speak, and gives you a year to gather medical evidence, collect buddy statements, and whatever else you need to do to present the best possible case when you submit your claim. The second tip I have has to do with claims for presumptive conditions. The most well-known and misunderstood presumptive claim is Agent Orange. When filing a claim related to Agent Orange, you aren't filing because you are simply exposed to it. Instead, you are filing for an injury or, in most cases, an illness caused by the exposure, such as hypertension. If you simply submit a claim that says you are boots on the ground in Vietnam and exposed to Agent Orange, your claim is going to go nowhere. Take the time to verify that the injury or illness you wish to file a claim for is on VA's list of presumptive conditions. And do not forget to verify your location and dates of service that match their requirements. And lastly, tip number three, get a VA accredited veteran service officer. And yes, there is a huge difference between a VSO who is accredited and who is not. The three major differences are, one, an accredited VSO has the legal authority to represent veterans in filing and appealing claims with VA. They can prepare, present, and submit claims for veterans and their families. A non-accredited VSO can offer general guidance, information, and assistance, but they cannot formally represent a veteran during claims or appeals. Number two, an accredited VSO must undergo specific training pass exams, and maintain their accreditation through continuous annual training, whereas non-accredited VSOs have none of these standards and their knowledge base varies greatly. And three, and perhaps most importantly, a VA accredited VSO can access certain VA systems like the Veterans Benefits Management System, also known as VBMS, which allows them to review veterans claim files, submit evidence and track the status of claims more effectively. A non-accredited VSO cannot access VBMS and they cannot submit claims or documentation through VA channels. So now you're probably wondering how the H-E double hockey sticks do I find an accredited VSO? Well, there are two ways. The first is by accessing VA's Finder tool. By visiting the link provided in the video description below, you can locate every VSO near to you that is currently accredited by VA. The other method is to reach out to one of our veteran service organizations like VFW and ask to be connected with an accredited VSO. So there you have it. Three tips for submitting a claim for VA disability. As always, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes of the SITREP. Hey folks, connecting with your benefits is our primary mission and the SITREP is providing more options than ever. Subscribe to our free email newsletter, subscribe to our audio podcast channel, or subscribe to our content on YouTube. For details and links, check out the description below.